Yeah, why didn't you come to Ruben's? I didn't go actually either, but I went. It was the sickest fucking party I've ever been to, bro. I'm sure. I was just fucking. I've just been dealing with shit too, personally. So I've been working on that. Yeah, Arizona is not the place you want to deal with. Yeah, shit I was personally. like, I don't need to go to a Super Bowl party when I'm like dealing with all this shit in my life. I think Super Bowl and waste management is the four hardest days I've ever gone in my life. Waste management is a golf thing, but yeah, like that's it's like it's the craziest golf tournament. Yeah. Okay. So we went there. Waste management, Super Bowl, and then I guess Steiny could tell us about his lunch. Yeah, you guys well, didn't see yeah. on the, the Michael Rubin pod, uh, we did a cold plunge challenge. And then if we did five minutes, Steiny got to stay. How was that? It was chill. It was cool. I've made a, met a lot of good people. Okay. That's on our Nelk 2 channel, the, too. Uh, Go subscribe to that if you want to see it. So I, there's, a, there's 100 people there. It's like pretty exclusive. I was by far like the most random person there. For sure. Um, I was nervous as fuck. I'm not going to lie. Because I, I walked How in. How was it like when you like got in? Was there like a check-in or like? They just knew right away. Your fit was pretty sauce too. Yeah, bro. I actually did like it. Thank you. I appreciate that. Fit. But uh, like I showed up and they're like, they tr- like, they're like, this is the charity kid. Like, come this on. Is, in. Yeah, this is really? the, yeah. on the list? For sure. No, they just like knew like there was like legit a lady there standing like, hey, Aaron, like I know we know why you're here. Just come, yeah, come here. You won the thing. So you know when you like walk in and you're just like, you don't know what to do. Yeah. So I did like three or four f- fake, f- not fake, but like pointless phone calls that looked maybe important. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is classic. This is good. In the beginning, bro, because I had to get loose. Bro, especially showing up there by yourself. Yeah, I don't even I know just... if I would have done that. <clears throat> so yeah, I, fuck it. I probably wouldn't have. I walked in and right away on the left is Robert Kraft, Peyton Manning, Roger Goodell, yeah. uh, Kevin Hart, and Lil Baby. Yeah. All having a conversation. All them talking together? All them talking together. Holy shit. And then I walked out and Ruben's there talking to Jay Balvin. Yeah. And then I started to like, I was like, fuck, I got to start talking to somebody. So I started chopping it up with the waiter. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> this is classic. Okay. So I'm like just talking to the waiter, acting like I, I need something. Was, and, was there anyone you saw that you were like, I wanted to go talk to this person? Yeah. Robert Kraft. Did you talk to him? Yeah. And what he say? He's like, get the f- I just went and introduced like, myself and told him why, said, how good, I was there I and stuff. Anymore. No, he was, dude, he couldn't have been nicer. Oh, and then okay. Lil Baby too, who I talked to for a little bit. What, what is your intro? Like when you say like, hey. I just say, hey, what's going on? My name's, I think I introduced myself as Stani. And I was like, uh, <laughs> do the Full Send podcast. Did it, We just had Michael on. It was a really great episode. I see. And uh, I told him, I told him the story. I was like, yeah, he bet, made me this bet. And then he, I was able to come here. But oh, Odell Beckham Jr. was there. I talked to him for a little bit. Yeah. And then um, I talked to the CEO of TikTok. Which was pretty cool. Yeah, how was that? Did he tell you how they ruined their app now? It's like no more he views was like, or what? what I, happened? It's just not what it used to be like, like engagement wise. Really? Yeah. How so? I don't know. They just it just changed. Like it just seems like it's much more difficult to get like to go viral. Really? Yeah. It's weird because when? he was asking me if there, yeah, I had any. Recently, he asked me that. Yeah, because he what? knows. Like I just told him, like we have a big presence on the app, and he's like, "Is there anything that you think we need to change about it?" I was like, "What the fuck?" Like change about their app yeah he's like do you see any faults in it like kind of asked me i don't know if he was like being serious or not hmm. but we're going deep sea fishing in the keys in april so i'm gonna talk to him then that's so cat <laughs> it's not wait how is tiktok harder to go viral now it just seems like it, it like it seems like a few months they ago, changed they really the algorithm changed the algorithm really yes like drastically really it's different now but yeah the, so they were all there and then um you're really going deep sea fishing with the tiktok guy We'll see if, if like it goes through, but yeah. 